Hi. Um, the quiz is going to be on articles, indefinite, indefinite. So just how to say ah uh, and some in Spanish. So here's a very short PowerPoint presentation. Um, and you just have to do a few things. You have to find the noun, right? Ella es chica. I want to say she's a girl. Which of these words is a noun? Hopefully you got chica, the girl. It's the subject or the noun. Um, so is chica singular or plural? It has no S, so it's singular. And is it uh, feminine or masculine? If you see it ends in the A, you know it's feminine. So it's singular and feminine. So how do you say she is a girl? Are you going to use un, unos, una, or unas? For singular and feminine, you would say una. The A lets me know it's feminine. So yes, una chica. Should be pretty, these are pretty easy. If you have these laid out in front of you, un, unos, una, or unas. Here's another one. Uh, chicos en la clase de español. I, H-A-Y, means there are. So the noun is, of course, chicos. And um, is chicos singular or plural? Of course, it ends in an S. So it's plural. Uh, so chicos, the noun, plural being plural, we have to decide is it masculine or feminine? And we look at the ending. Is it end in O or A? It ends in O. So it is masculine. So how would I say, there are some boys in the class of Spanish. Would it be un, unos, una, or unas? I know it's going to be unos because this is ma masculine, right? And it's plural, unos chicos. Hay unos chicos en la clase de español. All right, two more. And which one of these is the noun, the subject? Hay un apartamento. Apartment is the thing, person, place, or thing, right? That's the subject. Is it singular or plural? There's no S at the end. It's singular. Is it masculine or feminine? It ends in the O. So it is masculine. So how do I say there is a um, apartment. Well, it's masculine. It's on this side. These are the feminine ones. And it's singular. So hay un, un apartamento. All right, grande. Got it. And then the last one, which one of these is the subject? Casas grandes in Windsor. Casas. Means houses. Is it singular or plural? It ends in an S. Plural. Masculine or feminine? Well, it's an A, casas. So you know it's feminine. And so then how do you say there are some uh, big houses in Windsor? Hay casas grandes in Windsor. Well, you know it's on this side because it's feminine, the A. And it's plural. Hay una casa grande en Windsor. All right. So that's that. You know how to do indefinite articles. If you don't, there's some more practice with the Google form.